Hi, I just saw rings, but first look at this. Great, now we're all cursed. The only way to break the curse is to give rings five stars on Rotten Tomatoes. I couldn't do it. Expectations. I didn't expect this movie to be good. I saw the score before, <laughs> before I went in. What I was kind of expecting was uh, something similar to the Kevin Bacon movie, The Darkness, which came out last summer which was terrible. So I was hoping for a bad movie that I could enjoy in its badness. The, the main concept of The Ring, which is scary ghost girl comes out of TV because you watched her video. Like it's, it's been pretty thoroughly explored in the original movies. And so updating it I was wondering if they were going to do anything interesting. I didn't expect them to do anything interesting, but I was wondering if they would. They did not. Reality. Brief synopsis. All right, you've got this guy who's going off to college and his girlfriend's very sad, but they still talk on Skype. And then all of a sudden he's not on Skype and she's worried, so she goes to visit him at college. She finds a secret goth laboratory where everything's in blacklight. It turns out that they're just studying the ring tape, which is a uh, .mov file now on everyone's Mac computers, because everyone uses Mac computers in this movie. The only way to spread the ring curse is to make a copy of the file on your computer and then give it to someone else. It wasn't totally clear and what was clear didn't really make any sense. Her boyfriend got caught up in it and she watches the tape for her boyfriend. Spoilers! She watches the tape and from that point the movie just grinds to a halt and it's just a connect the dots follow the clues thing where they go to the town where oh god what's her name it's not sadako sanrio the <laughs> the ghost girl they go to the ring girl's hometown and they go up to people and it's like in a video game when you when you ask about the environment that you're in to try to like get clues to what to do so they're like itoi san how do you know about the three blades Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su- It was very long and bad, and there wasn't any urgency because it was literally just two boring young people walking around a town asking old people questions and following clues. It all just leads to a really blatant ripoff of Don't Breathe with ghosts. What would I have done differently? I actually thought it was kind of interesting to have the goth lab and they're studying the video and trying to figure out how it works and how it connects to the, to the other side. I feel like there was a lot of missed potential there. They had the, this really obvious, cliche professor character who was trying to help them, but also was the reason that the whole thing started with the videos, I guess. And he was played by some guy from the Bazinga show. So one, of, one of those Bazingas. My thought was, why not have the professor be the bad guy and because they were like on like an abandoned floor of like the science building or something, why not have like three floors of the science building or maybe even one big floor of the science building and, and the protagonist or protagonists are trapped on that floor and they're, they're going through and it's like this mirror maze of, of horrors and stuff and they're trying to unravel what's going on, the, the, the ring video. And that would open up all sorts of interesting possibilities because we've got this professor, this professor guy who's studying the video. 
And it would be really interesting to have it so maybe the video's evolving as it gets messed with. Like maybe maybe he puts in Premiere and tries rearranging it and all of a sudden there's new scenes that that are, are appearing on every copy of the video before. And like as the video evolves it like rewrites its own narrative. And that way we can have maybe an original story where it's not just people following clues to find out that Sadako fell in a well. It would be great if there was a scene where he's got the, this chamber, right? These two chambers. And he showed two students uh, the, the video at the same time. And he wanted to see if, if she could manifest in two places at once to get her victims. And so, like, they could witness this. But then it, splitting her into two separate separate beings, like, maybe, like, they're more distorted or something. And they're starting to, like, basically pervert slash evolve, like, in form. The, the other thing is the way they handled the curse... Because really, originally it's a VHS tape, but the VHS tape is, is like a container for the curse, right? So if you're going to, if, if you are going to bring this into the, the, the modern digital era, you know, what, why, why like get so technical with it? Like it should just be a curse that manifests on on the person who is cursed and so it's on their device so as soon as they watch the video they'll look at their their smartphone or their their desktop and they'll see the file there and they can't delete it they don't know what's going on if they try like opening it up to to, to figure out more about it like they get like glitched error messages and stuff and like it's just it's not it's not a computer file it's a manifestation of the curse. If you show it to somebody, it pops up. It's easy. That, 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 that's so much scarier than just, I gotta make a copy of this .mov file. Macintosh. There's no exploration of it, really. It was boring. None of the scares worked. Rings. Thanks for watching this video. There he is. Give us a like for Goober. Leave me a comment. Did you like this movie? What would you have changed? Maybe I'll link to some other videos. If I put videos there, it'll look like I'm looking at them. <laughs>